Hi, in this video we will learn about measuring correlation. To quantify how correlated two values are, we use the product moment correlation coefficient. The product moment correlation coefficient, or PMCC, for a sample of data is denoted by the letter R. However, for a population we use the Greek letter rho, and it describes the linear correlation between two variables. This can take values between minus 1 and 1. The closer R is to minus 1 or 1, the stronger the negative or positive correlation. If R is equal to 1, we have a perfect positive correlation. If R is minus 1, it is perfect negative linear correlation. If it's a perfect correlation, negative or positive, if we join all the points, they will form a straight line, as you can see it on the diagrams. When the value of R is close to zero, there is no correlation. However, there might still be a nonlinear relationship between the variables. From the large dataset, the daily mean wind speed W naughts and the daily maximum gust G naughts were recorded for the first 10 days in September in Hearn in 1987. State the meaning of NA in the table above. Well, this just means that there is no data recorded for those days. Part B. Calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for the remaining 8 days. I'm going to show you how to calculate R on two different calculators. On the ClassWiz calculator, go to Menu, then choose 6 for Statistics, and here we have to choose the linear option, which is number 2, y equals a plus bx. As you can see it on the screen, we have two columns here, x and y. There is missing data for the days 8 and 9, so we're gonna skip these values. When you've got all the values entered, press the Option button on your calculator. And here we are going to choose number 4, Regression Calculator. On the screen you see y equals a plus bx. This is the equation of a straight line. Many of you probably are familiar with y equals mx plus c. This is the same thing but using different letters. a is your y-intercept, b is your gradient, and r is 0.9533. On the graphical calculator, we start the same way. Press menu, then find statistics. We are only interested in list 1 and list 2, so let's input these values. Now we choose the option F2, then F3 for regression. Here we are going to choose F1 for X. We choose this because we need a linear regression. Here we can choose A plus BX. However, the options F1 and F2 are the same, but the letters are swapped. The letter R is what we are looking for. Part C. With reference to your answer to Part B, Comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for these data. R is 0.9533. It's a number very, very close to 1. So we have a strong positive correlation between the daily mean wind speed and the maximum gust. Because we have a strong positive correlation, it means that a linear regression model is suitable. If we would plot this data on a scatter graph, all the points would be very close to the line of best fit.